The only thing worse than getting a story of that magnitude wrong and on the basis of very limited and perhaps flawed fact, also publicly known is to politicize it and hence on the news are tonight, we are deliberately choosing not to inject any political flavor into the debate. That is absolutely not required and probably is going to be counterproductive. Instead, tonight we have experts from the defense forces and the media. Maruf, that was a fantastic analysis you just had. My, I'd like to welcome General Jaswal, Vinod Mehta, editorial chairman of the Outlook Group. General Raj Kadian, well-known defense analyst. General B. N. Dhar, PVSM from Jammu. My first question, Maruf, before I come to you, is to General Jaswal. You have been one of the senior most forces officers, sir, former army commander of the Northern Command. Do you believe this story? I think it's totally it's stretching your imagination. And I would uh, sum it up in saying that exaggeration is a sense of good conversation. I mean, how can you imagine such a thing? I would like to make a mention here. We are part of a democracy. And we are hungry of two things. One, our loyalty towards the country and second to die for the country when warranted how we don't have any hunger for power these are kinds of moments which Maruf has beautifully summed up these are moves which are carried out by the formations for mobilization even when there is a annual inspection that's the time mobilization is done in the first place did they enter Delhi negative I believe they didn't enter Delhi Outside Delhi, if in case they were carrying out the mobilization exercise, what's wrong in it? It should not be misconstrued. I think we're looking for answers without understanding the question. Yeah, it's, it's really very, very worrying. Bizarre news. It, it, it's, it's absolutely, uh, it, it's, it's shocking. I mean, the, the kind of conclusion drawn is, is completely shocking. Uh, General, uh, General Kadian, if I can come to you next. Now, what I found very interesting there is that we had the brigadier. Of, of the para regiment actually come out and in May he had said it all he told the media this is a something that is happening this is this, in March he said this is a movement that is happening it is normal you have experienced soldiers as part of the movement why would he have said and disclosed something like this in so much detail also the story also came out on a website so I don't know what the big revelation is in the Express uh, or now I will not repeat what General Jaiswal and Maru both have said absolutely correctly. I stand by every word of what they are saying. The, the news, if we look at it in two parts, first is the fact that two units were moving. That, of course, coming from very senior journalists, it cannot be denied. Second is the motive that he ascribes to the army as an institution. He doesn't use the strong word C, but he leaves no doubt that this is exactly what he means. I think that is absurd. It is just sensationalism. And as an army man who served more than 40 years, I find it uh, totally unbelievable and totally irresponsible, this kind of reporting. Both units happen to be part of the strike corps, which is located in Mathura. It is a common practice. I have been part of that corps. I commanded that corps for a number of years. It is a common practice to carry out maneuvers. And what is a unit? Armored, the SR has cantonment has got a full-fledged armored division, just one unit out of it. It's not even less than 10% of the total strength. And they have to today move on the road because you can't move off the road. The entire area is full of crops. If they move westward from SR, you are causing more serious problem on the, towards the border. Para Brigade, if what is happening in the Indian Ocean in the south, they have already been given tasks once in the 80s to a similar task. We have the situation volatile again. It is a common thing for them to carry out these maneuvers in practice. Army always looks for bad weather to carry out practice so that the drill and their, their, their battle procedures can be fully tested. So I think to read anything more than that, it's very hurting that an army which has stood by the democracy, yeah, which very... is totally apolitical, and uh, this kind of color given by a very responsible newspaper and uh, by editor-in-chief himself, I think is very, very unfortunate and very, very saddening for the country. There are some elements, I'm sure you'll come to that question, who may be at the back of it. If you, the, 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 what the first finger to my mind points to some bureaucracy because they are the people I always maintain we are a democracy ruled by the bureaucracy. They are totally untamed. They enjoy all the unbridled power. 
they have no accountability whatsoever they have been seeing the army as kind of a with a eye of a peer rival and they, they may be at the back of it in trying to discredit the army in the but i think this is a very poor and very sad attempt when maruf has only brought out what we already have so in daily why do we have to move such a large caboodle from hisar in the today in open to a mischief if that was actually no, intended is unthinkable my 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 very 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 clear question here is that how is such a large inference drawn and it's all happening vinod mehta on the back of uh, you know what one can say that you throw a stone into a pond and you see you know the waves spread and then you have the ripple effect and you hope that there will be a storm and at the end of the day if there is a storm you say i started it all you know the question here is it's happening in a certain environment isn't it vinod mehta all of this is happening in an environment of recrimination incrimination between the army and, and, and the government and i began the news hour tonight by asking who is who is behind this is it the chief is it the government or is it someone else well well arnab if you look at some of the events of the last 3 or 4 weeks it becomes very clear that there is a concerted coordinated and sustained effort to discredit the chief now i hold no i don't hold the banner for the army chief but and he has done some silly things but he is being targeted for the simple reason that he has attempted to clean up the system and therefore he has worried a lot of people who benefit from a dirty system now who are those people who are likely to benefit from a a a a, a system of corruption and then you will reach the people who have an interest in this kind of story but they have gone completely overboard they are suggesting or we are asked to believe that an army chief out of frustration because he couldn't get a 10 month extension is planning to mount a military coup and top exactly. the civilian leadership it's, it's, in this it's country it's incredible that conclusion is drawn now i mean even Worth even laughing. by the standards of those people who want to discredit the chief this has precisely the opposite effect in exactly. fact the chief has gone up in my estimation since i read this story because it just shows the desperation of those people who are trying to get him so wh- who why are people desperate to get him that's the question tonight on your screen you are seeing the google map of where the movement is believed to have happened and this whole story that the government of india on the night of 16 january was in an absolute state because there were two two troop movements you know two units moving towards delhi and the government of india didn't want to know didn't know what to do so deep is the distrust tonight between the chief and the government who he serves so deep is the distrust that the government probably feared that there could be a coup though the coup word is not used by the indian express incredible what are your thoughts here tonight getting a lot of reactions from times now viewers across the country from jammu general b and dar what do you make of the express story so i <coughs> firstly i must uh, tell you that the officers who have already talked about it the there is no nothing of that thing happening two battalions or a regiment moving because they could not move in stealth because of the forest land and wetland they moved on the road if there was anything they would not have moved on road they would have moved out and in greater number exactly you can't have a battalion which can produce hardly 400 people for duty you can't have anything of that sort it hurts a man it hurts a man like me who has spent his life i am 86 today sir and i have seen the army from uh, august 26 and i can tell you that i will it it, it gets a man you know i one feels like committing a suicide when people responsible people of the papers give such news and we give credit to them i think they should be discredited and this matter should stop here and now absolutely defense minister 
ڈیفینس منسٹر ہیز سیڈ وی شوڈ ناٹ ٹاک ٹمارو وی شوڈ ناٹ ٹاک اگین اباؤٹ دس میٹر ایٹ آل مسٹر شیکھر گپتا وی ہیو گریٹ ریسپیکٹ فار ہم بٹ وائی ڈی ڈی ڈو اٹ گاڈ الون نوز ہو آر دی پیپل ہو آر گوئنگ ٹو بینیفٹ فرام دس آئی ڈونٹ تھنک سو وی شوڈ ایون ٹرائی ٹو فائنڈ absolutely we should just forget about it but we absolutely. need absolutely but we need and it but we need to set the record straight don't we general jaswal maruf just coming to you we need to set the record I, straight I, 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 because I, to politicize this to I, have politicians I, debating this and to also it is anti national to insinuate that the government army say, you know relationship is so bad today that there, there is a possi- possible element of truth in this that is immature and childish we need to rubbish this don't we general jaswal because the, not just the army but every no, I, child in this country is watching is, whether the story is rubbish or not 100% it is 100% and intrusive news but i would like to talk militarily as for the first level is concerned 26 january just round the corner Do you know how many troops are there in Delhi with all kinds of armament? Tell us, sir. Do we have to get a battalion from left and right? I mean, the whole lot of troops are available in Delhi. The core issue is, can we ever think of this? No, but how can we suggest Like it? I said, we are loyal to the government. Sir, tell me. Sir, tell me. I, how no, can this sir, be nobody, questioned? Sir, today, the amount of respect that the Indian Army still retains is incredible. and i know this from the feedback that is coming to live this live discussion on the channel today maruf made that point sir maruf that's the point right which you also made there are one core two brigades in delhi two divisions in merat i no. saw you say that in your report plus there is the almost no, so no, many thing in yeah. delhi itself in delhi itself in delhi itself on 26 for the republic day parade yeah due to the enormity of troops which are available True. there do we have to get some small little contingent from outside no so so what so so, the question is So you you why should, should uh, why should this be misconstrued No no misconstrued then then how do you put two and two together Maruf that you suggest some 3000 4000 troops moving towards Delhi are going to take over or put the fear of god in the government or that's being used as some kind of pressure tactic by an aggressive military on on the government you know it's brazen statement brazen uh, Oh, yeah. on a Maruf. Break. can i just come in here please you know there are three or four important points some of them have been indirectly uh, talked about by the distinguished guests and they are men with huge uh, military reputations impeccable reputations huge experience the first point to understand is that these two contingents which they are indicating were moving would provide a total fighting bayonet strength of less than a thousand troops in delhi itself and elsewhere as i have indicated and these are ballpark figures close to 25000 troops are any time available within one hours driving time of delhi to the government or the army chief if they so require these troops have been reinforced post the 1984 experience after mrs gandhi's assassination and i had personal experience of being part of hisar's division at that point of time when the troop mobilizations took place to come into delhi to stall the riots so i know the kind of logistics that is involved you don't move a mechanized infantry battalion leave aside a mechanized division with less than 2 to 3 weeks of planning because requisitioning 48 tatra vehicles itself is a mammoth job the second point is hindun and point. the area which is being indicated indicated for parachute regiment and para brigades activities that's a perennial favorite for the para brigade to carry out land exercises so it is nothing new these routine activities take place they are not normally intimated to the ministry of defense because the movement if the ministry of defense starts getting being told of the number of battalions and units that move around in india all the time because the indian army is planning mobilization and training exercises they will not have the filing space to keep all this information so this is kept at division and uh, core headquarter level at maximum